Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Wildwood X-Lite 263BHXL. This is a great family model. You have the rear double over double bunks, super slide with the big U-shaped dinette and the jackknife sofa, plus you get a private master bedroom up front. Let's start off here in the kitchen. This is one of the places I think they really knocked it out of the park. They did an awesome, an awesome job. You'll see you have the countertop extension a little bit kind of beyond the sink right here, which gives you that little extra prep space that you kind of need, plus all of this excellent space right here. They also have the double bowl sink and the high rise faucet, plus an electrical outlet right where you want it, and it's built into the wall, not the cabinets. So if you do put a coffee maker there, you don't have a cord that is hanging down from your cabinets. Over to this side here is your three burner recessed cooktop with the glass cover. This glass cover does fold up and back, doubles as a backsplash to reveal your three burners there. And then you have the oven here underneath in case you want to do some baking. And as you can see, the knobs do light up there. You'll also have a drawer for all of your silverware. And then right underneath the sink, you have this big storage area, which is plenty of room for a trash can. Taking a look up top. Instead of wood, they kind of put in the frosted glass here, help break up the look a little bit. I think that was a good choice. You see you have the shelf already built in, perfect for all your spices. The microwave right up top with the hood underneath. The hood, of course, does have a light and a fan. Stainless steel suite of appliances there, which helps tie in the refrigerator right here as well. This is actually one of my favorite parts about the X-Lite. This is the uh, Everchill 12 volt compressor style fridge. So it doesn't run off propane. It is built purely to run off your 12 volt batteries. And uh, it also gets a little bit of extra help from solar if you have solar. But you can see here, it's uh, perfect size. You got plenty of room in there. You got your freezer compartment right here up top. Because it is compressor style, it also gets uh, cooler a lot quicker than what your normal RV style refrigerators do. Right over here is the pantry. You can open that up so you can take a look. You have uh, three big shelves right in there. Plenty of room for all of your food and you know a lot of your pots, pans, some of your dishes and stuff as well. Thermostat is right back here. And then right here is the bathroom. So as we walk into the bathroom, a couple different things. You'll see the toilet right here. Plenty of uh, room both for my legs as well as my shoulders. You have your sink top right over here. You'll see that it is a large sink, large bowl there. So you have plenty of room to wash your hands. A little bit of storage right there underneath. You also have your electrical outlet mirror right up top. Secondary entrance, this is awesome in a bunk model because the kids or yourself or guests can just come in, do their business here and head right back out without bringing dirt throughout your entire RV. You have a little caddy right here, which is kind of nice. Uh, that way, you know, if you want to put like your soaps and shampoos and stuff in here, it's easily accessible. They kind of did that because as you see, there's not any shelves in here. So this was kind of the uh, system and I, and I think it definitely works. Plus, if you want to take it with you, it does just kind of uh, just roll right up. You have this little guy. You can clip it shut just like that. So kind of a, kind of a cool idea. And then if you take a look in the shower itself here, it is a tub shower. So if you have some little ones, you want us to give them a bath, you can do that. I'll step in here just to give you a frame of reference. I'm six foot. As you can see, I can stand in here. You know, you're six one, maybe six two. You can stand in here without ducking down. If you're any taller than that, you probably will have to bend over a little to be able to shower. Right here in the back are the double over double beds. Teddy bear bunk series. You'll see you have USB ports on both. So if you have uh, any electronics you need to plug in, you know, whether it's uh, cell phones, tablets, whatever, there's a spot to plug those in. I'll lay down here just again to give you a reference point. So as I mentioned, I'm six foot. As you can see, I can sleep in here somewhat comfortably. So, you know, if, if you have two people in here, it might be a little tight, but it does work for adults in case you just have a weekend away with friends. Right over to the side here, you have the super slide. So you'll see the big U-shaped dinette. Plenty of room for four people to sit around, play a game together, have a meal together. The table also drops down and this can turn into a bed as well if you want some uh, additional sleeping space there. This is kind of cool. So we open this up and what they do is they actually give you these bins. So it just makes it a little bit easier to access the storage underneath here instead of you know, having to uh, get down on the ground. Um, you know, to be able to access that on your hands and knees, you can just kind of pull those little bins out. Right next to that, you have your jackknife style sofa. So you have the removable armrests here. Just makes it a little bit more comfortable to sit there when you do have armrests. This, of course, folds up and drops down into a bed. And then you'll see you do have some additional storage there as well. 
The shades in here I like as well, the roller shades, which, uh, you know, they work a lot better than your standard tension ones or your Venetian blinds. And then right up here, if you want a TV, this is where your TV would go. They actually like what they did here. Rather than build a box around it, they just had an open wall here. They made the wall decorative. And then they put it back or right here so you can have a much larger TV than what a lot of times uh, those surrounds will allow you to have. Take the cables, push them right down there. All your connections are underneath. You have your multimedia center right here. That guy is Bluetooth capable. Fireplace right down below. And then additional storage on both sides. If we take a look in the bedroom here, you see the queen bed right in the center. There is storage underneath. It is strut supported. You can see that gives you uh, access to that same pass-through storage area. But you also have these bins right here which are easily accessible. And again, you know, you don't have to lift up the bed to get to those. They have little handles. So that way you can just grab underneath the bed, pull them right out. On both sides, you have little nightstands there with electrical outlets and USB ports. Both sides also have mirrored wardrobe with hanging rods there, a little shelf going across the top. And if you want TV in the bedroom, the hookups for that are right up top here. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Wildwood x lite 263. So right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Thanks to the fact you simply just have to flip this rocker switch to raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light right up front here for some added visibility at night. And in the rare event that this does fail, there is a manual override here so you're not stuck out at your campsite. Right behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover and behind that a little bit further are rails for your battery. Coming up the front here is diamond plating helping to protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle and right above that you will see that you have the smooth aluminum front. Not only is this more aesthetically pleasing but it's also easier to clean and seeing as how the majority of your dirt and bug splatters will be right up front uh, that is definitely if you're going to have one place with it that would be the place to have it. Right over here to this side is solar prep. If you want solar, just buy portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. If you take a look at the pass-through here, you have a very wide door on there, which is awesome. It lets you fit some wider items, like some of the executive chairs and stuff in there. There is a big box in there, but you can see how deep that pass-through is. And again, you can access some of this same storage from underneath the bed. If we drop down and take a look at the stabilizer jacks real quick, you'll see this one is also equipped with JT strong arms. So that way once your stabilizer jacks are down, it helps create a triangle, helps with some of those forces. That way your trailer rocks even less than what it normally would with just the stabilizer jacks. So, you know, if you're one that really doesn't want a lot of movement, those JT strong arms will definitely help you. You can see the power awning here, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in and you have an LED light strip underneath there so you have light at night. Two entrances into the Wildwood, the primary entrance being right here. You'll see you have the solid step system with aluminum treads. Folks, this is a great step system. You know, you can see me bounce down at over 200 pounds. You don't get the flex like you do in a, a lot of the normal steps. Uh, you can adjust the, the length right here for the legs. You can see this one needs to be adjusted just a tiny bit more, uh, but that way you can adjust it to no matter what campsite you're at. It makes it really nice and easy to go in and out. And again, you feel a lot more secure. You have a grab handle right there to aid you as well. The secondary set of steps that goes in the bathroom is right back there. Those have your standard steps on there with your standard grab handle. One of my favorite parts on the 263 though is this right here, which is the outside kitchen. Generally folks, on this style floor plan, when you have the bunks on the off door side and you have the bathroom on the camp side right here, you lose the outdoor kitchen because generally it goes right where the bathroom is. However, they still manage to find a way to get you one. So you'll see right here, you have this sink with the big wash basin. So, you know, this can hold quite a bit of water before you have to dump it out. And this is something that I really like. They give you an induction cooktop out here, which I think is fantastic. And to go along with that, right up here in this drawer, they even give you in a pan specifically for it. So that way you don't have to worry about going out and buying a pan. This one right here will do the trick. You'll see you have an electrical outlet here as well. And then of course the necessary fridge out here for any beverages and condiments. Moving on down a little bit further here. Actually, if you look right up top, you will see that you have two outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. However, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So that way you can be sitting right out here. You can be on your smartphone or tablet 
connect to that multimedia center and be somewhat controlling it while you're still out here. Coming around to the back side, you'll see this one has your square tubular bumper with end caps. You can pop that end cap off, gives you a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. Mounted to that, of course, is your spare tire with a cover. Great thing about this, folks, is obviously hopefully you never have to use it, but if you do, it's probably one of the easiest places to get to it. You don't have to get underneath your camper, and it has a cover on here, so it'll be in good shape when you go to get it. City Water Inlet is right back here, super convenient because generally your hookups are more toward the back of the campsite. Cable and satellite inlets are here as well. And if you take a look right up in the top center there, you will see backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera on here, having the prep will make it a lot easier to have it installed, meaning it will save you money on labor. Right down here is your termination. You can see you have two gray valves right up front. Your black tank valve is right there in the back. Also, 30 amp uh, power cord is tucked away right inside there. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Wildwood X-Lite 263BHXL. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.